This giant cruise ship in Port Everglades, Florida, is Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas, preparing to begin its first passenger cruise in early July. Meanwhile, two passengers on board the Celebrity Millennium are in isolation after testing positive for COVID-19. That ship left St. Martin on Saturday, and all adults on board were vaccinated, underscoring that keeping people safe on these ships can be a challenge. The CDC recommends 95% of all cruise passengers be vaccinated when sailing from American ports resumes this month. But Republican governors of Florida and Texas are refusing to let companies require passengers to prove they've been inoculated. Errol Barnett is in Port Canaveral, Florida. Errol, good morning to you. Hey there, good morning. How about one of the largest cruise vessels in the world as a backdrop, right? This demonstrates how big of a business this is. Nearly nine and a half million Americans embark on cruises here in Florida and in Texas in a typical year. That's more than two thirds of the overall U.S. market. But now there's intense confusion in those locations. Royal Caribbean is strongly recommending passengers be vaccinated for some of its trips, while Norwegian and Carnival are following CDC recommendations in requiring vaccinations for some uh, of their trips and basically this is now leading to a showdown in the states after 15 months of a cdc no sale order cruise ships around the u.s are poised to welcome back vacationers royal caribbean group ceo richard fain is eager to see americans embark on one of his vessels from port everglades in two weeks that's very exciting but i'm still confused about the details involved in getting us there but after the cruise industry spent over a year negotiating with the CDC on how to safely protect against COVID and prevent super spreader events, there's another wave of resistance. People are going to cruise one way or another. It's a question is, are we going to do it out of Florida, which is the number one place to do it in the world? Or are they going to be doing it out of the Bahamas or other locations? And so Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sued the CDC to permit U.S.-based cruises in the spring. Then last month, the Republicans signed an executive order prohibiting businesses from requiring vaccinations a key CDC recommendation for sailing. DeSantis is levying a $5,000 fine per violation, so one cruise ship could potentially incur millions of dollars in penalties. Texas and on Monday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott followed in Florida's wake, sure even though Carnival Cruise Lines had announced a vaccinated-only cruise from Galveston that same day. No business or government entity can require a person to provide a vaccine passport or any other vaccine information as a condition of receiving any service or entering any place. Before COVID, more than $10 billion in direct spending was generated by the cruise industry in Texas and in Florida, nearly half of annual cruise spending in the U.S. Cruise lines are eager to earn some of that back. What do you make of what cruise lines are trying to do to get back to business? They're sort of between a rock and a hard place. Attorney Michael Winkleman represents cruise passengers and staff in legal disputes. Neither of these governors are members of the CDC. Neither of them operate a cruise line. I think they essentially need to keep out of this and let the CDC and the cruise lines continue to work together so that people can get back to cruising safely. It's a sentiment shared by most prospective cruise passengers. Roughly 60% prefer mandatory vaccines, according to a recent Harris poll. Only 23% prefer they not be mandatory. Oliver Max in Texas would be on a cruise right now with his family if it weren't for this cruise conflict. I think that if there's not a vaccination requirement that I will wait a few months and wait to see what happens. Uh, I, I believe in the cruise industry to take care of people. CBS News travel advisor Peter Greenberg says cruise lines can decide to move their business elsewhere. We have 17 ports in the United States where cruise ships are operating before the pandemic. If you're not going to have vaccinations as a requirement, people are going to make other choices. It is just unclear where all of this goes from here, but it was just announced yesterday by Carnival that the vessel you see behind me, the Mardi Gras, which is their biggest, will set sail on her maiden voyage July 31st, and everyone on board will be vaccinated. Anthony? Errol, thank you. I'm with that man who said, you know, I would wait if, if, uh, if I didn't know that all the other passengers were being vaccinated. Yeah. I would wait as well. I know it's a personal decision. We all decided to get it, but... The people that don't get it, I just think you put others in jeopardy.
Well, and, and science on, is clearly on our side about those of us yeah, who have gotten it. Yeah. Sci and right now, that's all we have to operate with is the science. Well, especially on ships where you've seen diseases yes, spread before yes. and you're in a confined yeah. environment. And there's also a legal question that will be worked out here. Businesses require all sorts of things of people walking in. That's right. Know, two drink minimum, shirts and shoes. Yes. Yeah. Vaccine. Yeah, exactly. That's right.